Hello and welcome back. In this video, we continue our discussion on simple word problems in algebra. And guess what? This time, we are going to use algebra to solve a word problem in geometry. Of course, it is a relatively simpler problem than what we will encounter when we go into more details about algebra. Now, let's get right into the problem. The problem says the perimeter of a rectangle is 13 centimeters and its width is 2 3 by 4 centimeters or 2 and 3 fourth centimeter. Find its length. Now, first thing, if you recollect, this is a make mixed fraction that is you have a whole and a part okay and when you simplify this will form something that is known as improper fraction as you will see so uh, but let's come to the problem now it says find its length so i have made the rectangle over here and we know that this width or breadth you call it is two and three fourth centimeter but we don't know the length Right, so we will just assume that let the length be L, that is what we usually denote the length of rectangle as. And what else do we know? We know the perimeter, so uh, we will use algebra to solve this. And the first thing is we have to determine the unknown, so we have determined that our length is unknown. Now we have to form the equation and it says the perimeter of a rectangle is 13 centimeters. So we do know that perimeter of, in this case, perimeter of a rectangle is twice of length plus breadth. Now we already know breadth, some people may call it breadth or width, so we have it 2, 3 by 4. So that we can simplify this as twice of length plus breadth, breadth is 2, 3 fourths and this number here is given as 13 centimeters. So this is kind of our initial equation. Now we need to simplify this a bit further. So first simplification we will do is to convert this into a fraction instead of a mixed fraction. So the way we do it is we multiply it four times two is eight and then we add three. So it becomes 11 by four. So the first simplification we will have is twice of length plus this thing is 11 by four. Now, if you recollect, this is a fraction that has a numerator which is bigger than the denominator and therefore it is an improper fraction. And what we have essentially done is co uh, converted this mixed fraction into a proper fractional form. That is what we have done, just to simplify our calculations. Now, the next step would be to simplify by multiplying this two to both of them. So we have 13 equals twice of length plus twice of 2 into 11 by 4. So when you simplify this, what we get is 11 by 2. So, so we have the equation something as 13 equals 2L plus 11 by 2. Now this is what our equation looks like. So I just want to draw your attention here that at times we might just need to do some simplification to come up with the equation before we can proceed to solve for that equation and this is one such case because we had to do some conversions for example we converted from this improper uh, uh, from a mixed fraction to an proper fractional representation which is an improper fraction over here then we also simplified the braces here and after doing that simplification, we got this equation which is relatively simpler to solve. So we have our equation now 13 equals 2L plus 11 by 2. Now let us proceed to solve this further. So I will just write the equation again here. So we have twice of L plus 11 by 2 equals 13. This was our equation that we formed there. Now let us proceed to. So the first thing we will do is transpose this 11 by 2 onto this side, that is the right hand side. So we have 2L equals 13 minus changing the sign because we are transposing it 11 by 2. Now all we do is try to make the denominator same. Right now it is 1. So what we will do is twice of L equals multiplying both of these by 2. 13 by 2 into 1 by 2 minus 11 by 2. So we have 2L equals 13 times 2 is 26 
by 2 minus 11 by 2 and when you solve this further we get to subtract the numerators because we have the same denominator and therefore we get 2L is when we do 26 minus 11 it is 15 by 2 now but we still have this L over here uh, and, and we, need, we need to get this 2 out of it so let us multiply or, or let us uh, yes let us multiply both of these sides the left hand side and the right hand side by 1 by 2 so I'll continue this on to the next column over here so we will say 2L into 1 by 2 equals 15 by 2 into 1 by 2 so we need to do the same multiplication on both the sides because we have to keep the equation balanced and this is something that we have discussed in earlier videos now let us sub, uh, these two gets cancelled so we have L equals 15 by 4 and this is your length of the rectangle now if you look at it, this number here it is again an improper fraction and if you choose to convert it to a mixed fraction you can do so so I would do it mentally I know that 4 times 3 is 12 okay so if, if I just divide 4 by 15 uh, we, we, we will be able to divide it fully by 3 times and we have a remainder of 4 times 3 plus 3 so so it would be something like 3 3 fourths so 4 3's are 12 plus 3 15 by 4 and that is what your length is so either way the answers would be fine and so so this is the mixed fraction form and this is the improper fraction representation form so this was an application of simple algebraic concept to geometry we'll cover some more interesting problems in the coming videos